Hey guys, what's happening? So, got this car a couple weeks ago. It's a Red Cat Lighting STR. And from the factory, I had some issues with the uh, idle speed and also uh, hesitation. Uh, I've only actually run two tanks through it, just uh, getting the thing uh, broken in. So I really haven't even driven it, but I've given it a couple of rips and, uh, I mean, I work on a lot of car carburetors, so I'm familiar with that kind of stuff. But uh, a couple different issues I noticed that I thought were kind of odd was one is the pull string actually interferes with the throttle cable, and that's that's the way it's designed. That's not like a flaw here. So to me, that's I mean, what happens if this thing gets stuck at wide open throttle? So that's kind of sketchy. But the issues I had were my idle wouldn't go all the way back, so it was kind of sticking. At, it was running at a, sort of like a higher idle, and uh, but when I would actually hit the brake, it would actually close the throttle. I'm not sure if you can see that, but so it was stuck open just a little bit. So it was actually idling higher than it should have, which would normally idle. So by hitting the brake, I was able to get it to go to a lower idle. So this thing was actually stuck open a little bit. So to cure that problem, you have to actually create more spring tension in the back here. So you have to undo that lock right there and move this a little bit tighter this way. And that will create more spring tension on this thing right here. And that will force the carburetor to close. So that was just one issue I had, the high idle issue. By, like I said, adjusting that, it actually closed the carburetor. Like I said before, it was stuck open just a little bit, but when I hit the brake, it, it closed. Another thing was the hesitation. So if you see that right there, I mean, see that little bit of gap right there? A little bit of movement before it actually activates the carburetor? Well, before that, I had actually made the adjustment, I had a huge gap in there. And it was doing two different things. It was creating hesitation. But at the same time, because it was picking up so much slack, it prevented this carburetor from opening up 100%. So before, I mean, I'd probably be about 80, 85% open. And now, since I've made the adjustment, I can go to 100%. So it was about right there before. And now I can totally open it up. So you just got to make sure this is pretty much almost tight with this part right there. And then also make sure there's enough spring tension here. And that kind of, uh, well, so far has cured my problems. So pretty cool car so far. Awesome.